हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई शशि भूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस चैनल आज मैं आपको रे ऑप्टिक्स पे बेस्ड एक क्वेश्चन करने को दूंगा जो बहुत मुश्किल नहीं है आप थोड़े से प्रयास से कर पाएंगे ऐसा मेरा मानना है पर साथ में इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करते समय हमें ये भी समझ आएगा कि हमारी कार में जो इंटरनल रियर व्यू मिरर होता है उसमें नाइट डिमिंग का जो फीचर होता है रात में आ, हम ग्लेयर को आ, अपनी आँख में इरीटेशन को कम कर सकते हैं वो कैसे काम कर रहा है उसको भी आज हम समझने की कोशिश करेंगे तो आइए देखते हैं हमारा आज का सवाल इस सवाल को करने की कोशिश आप पूरा वीडियो देखने के पहले भी कर सकते हैं और वीडियो देखने के बाद भी अंत में आप इस क्वेश्चन को ट्राई कर सकते हैं तो अगर आप क्वेश्चन को समझ गए खुद से ट्राई करना चाहते हैं तो कीजिए पर वीडियो को जरूर देख लीजिएगा वीडियो छोटा ही होने वाला है दिस फिगर शोज अ वर्टिकल क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ ए ग्लास मिरर जैसा नॉर्मली घरों में मिरर होता है ग्लास का एक थिक मिरर वैसा ये मिरर है बट इसकी क्वालिटी ये है कि इसके जो दोनों फेस हैं वो पैरल नहीं है दे आर इंक्लाइंट This diagram shows the vertical section of the mirror. One surface of the wedge-shaped glass has been silvered. This back surface has been silvered, right? The mirror is kept so that its silvered surface makes an angle of three degree with vertical. This silvered surface makes an angle of three degree with vertical, and the front surface makes an angle of five degree with vertical. This is given in the question. Horizontal rays from a distant object fall on the mirror, right? Very good. At what angle theta to the horizontal must the observer's eye be oriented? At what angle theta to the horizontal? This is the observer's eye given in the picture. Uh, this eye should try to look in a direction that is inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal and this theta you have to tell me the value of this angle theta so that this observer or this eye is able to see a bright image and what should be value of this angle theta so that the eye sees a faint image i am getting out of this screen you can capture the question on your own it is given that refractive index of the glass is 5 by 3 refractive index of the glass is 5 by 3 please capture the question and give it a try or you can watch the complete video and thereafter give it a try and please do not forget to write down the answers that you get in the comment section okay let us move on <clears throat> so today we are going to learn of, about the physics of interior rear view mirror uh, basically the night dimming feature of interior rear view mirror how does it actually uh, functions so this 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 is the mirror i am talking about inside the car above your dashboard you must have seen this mirror many of you must be basically expert drivers also so i am very confident about that so this is known as irvm interior rear view mirror and there is a knob out here you can adjust it in two positions right and for night you adjust it in a particular position for day you adjust it in another position so what exactly uh, that adjustment is all about this is what we are going to learn in today's video uh think that you are driving on a highway on this beautiful red car and there is a lorry there is a truck behind you uh, which is having a very very bright intense headlight so the truck is approaching you and what happens this light headlight when it falls on the irvm and then is reflected back to your eye it causes a lot of irritation so you don't want that irritation to happen you don't want that uh, high intensity of light to fall in your eyes and for that actually there are two settings in the irvm so we need to understand that for, but first of all we must understand why actually uh, we feel irritation when a large amount of light enters into our eye during the night time why doesn't it happen during the day time can you answer that 
okay. Uh, during diet, our the pupil of our eyes, the pupil of our eyes are basically dilated, they are enlarged because everything is dark and we want to collect more and more light so that we can see things around us. So, the pupil is basically dilated that means enlarged and when the pupil is enlarged and all of a sudden a huge amount of light enters into the eye, it causes irritation. It does not happen during daytime because uh, during daytime uh, the situation is that your pupil, the uh, um, eye pupil is already uh, smaller in size basically. हम घबरा रहे होते हैं बहुत सारी लाइट हमारी आंख में एंटर करती है हमें तकलीफ होती है तो हम अपनी आंख की पुपल को बेसिकली सिकोड़ लेते हैं तो इट इज ऑलरेडी स्मॉलर इन साइज व्हेन द बैकग्राउंड इज वेरी ब्राइट सो व्हेन अ ब्राइट ऑब्जेक्ट सडनली कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इट डज नॉट कॉज दैट मच ऑफ इरिटेशन बिकॉज़ द पुपल साइज इज ऑलरेडी वेरी स्मॉल सो लेस अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी एक्चुअली एंटर्स इनटू आवर आई so this is the whole thing now how does that irvm function let us try to understand that the diagram is not to scale uh, these angles are also not to scale aapko samajh mein aaye isliye aisa banaya hai thoda ye fir se wo silvered surface hai aur ye front face hai and this is basically transparent glass so let us say ye aapke car ka hi mirror hai aise aapke aankh ke samne laga hua hai पीछे से ट्रक आया उसकी लाइट लेट अस से हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइट रेड एरो में मैंने दिखाई है एक लाइट रे ये आपके इस आईआरवीएम पे इंसिडेंट होती है नेचुरली ग्लास एयर से ग्लास में एंटर करते समय लाइट रे नॉर्मल के करीब हो जाएगी ये लाइट रे ब्लू कलर की जो लाइन है नॉर्मल टू दिस रिफ्रैक्टिंग सरफेस है ये इंसिडेंट रे है और ये रेड रे जो है रिफ्रैक्टेड रे है नाउ दिस रिफ्रैक्टेड रे is incident on this reflecting surface this is mirror basically so it will get reflected according to the principle according to the laws of reflection the another blue line that i have shown this is normal on this mirror surface so the light ray gets reflected and again here it will be refracted it will move away from the normal i am not showing the normal here and if your eye is somewhere here it will enter into your eye so the light that is traveling from rear uh intense light that actually hits your eye and causes irritation because your eye pupil are already dilated they are large in size it is night time and suddenly all of a sudden a large amount of light energy enters and it causes a lot of irritation uh <laughs> so what can be done to avoid this actually you need to tilt this mirror you need to uh, reorient this mirror with respect to your position of the uh, incoming incident ray you need to tilt the mirror so the button that is given here it's not a button it is a lever kind of thing the lever that is given here this is irvm if you move this lever it helps you um, in uh, repositioning this mirror rather reorienting this mirror with respect to the incident light so if you just uh, operate this lever the mirror uh, changes its orientation that means basically inclination of the mirror with horizontal or vertical has been changed so by operating this lever you are able to change the inclination of the mirror with horizontal or vertical whatever so let us say this is the new position of the mirror huh? uh, this is the position that you will want uh, during night time when light ray is traveling from your rear uh, almost horizontally so what happens to this light ray earlier the mirror was tilted like this now we have made it more towards vertical so what will be the path of light ray again it will get closer to the normal after refraction but now here here the light ray gets reflected according to law of reflection all of you can imagine that that it may be directed upward so if i adjust the tilt angle it is possible that this reflected ray uh, is passed uh, is reflected uh, and then reemerges into air 
over my head actually. So the light ray will not enter your eye and it will be, be passing over your head. So in this particular case, uh, this light ray, the huge amount of light energy is not going to enter into your eye and this is not going to cause any irritation. But the question arises then how am I going to see the image? I mean, if a truck is behind me, how will the truck uh, be seen, uh, be visible to me? How will the image of the truck be visible to me? That is the big question. So the fact of the matter is when light ray enters into glass from air, uh, the whole energy is not refracted some small amount of energy, maybe 4 or 5 percent of energy will get reflected here. And that is what tilting the mirror does. The major amount of energy goes above your head. In some cases, it may uh, be directed towards your foot rather than your eye. It depends on the geometry and construction, but this is one possibility. But how, how are we able to see the image of the truck behind us? The fact is, 4 to 5 percent of light energy will get reflected here uh, at the first encounter with the glass. So, if you adjust the mirror like this, this reflected light is actually entering your eye and because it is only a very small percentage of energy, the image will be very dim, dull, uh, but at the same time it is not going to cause any irritation to you. So, I hope all of you have understood this, uh, the very simple device. Uh, which helps us a lot while driving at night and students, I am assuming that you all will now give a try to the problem that I have given at the start of the video and please do, do not forget to uh, write in the comment section the answers that you are getting. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.